Hi, I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we're going to take a look at another thermal right fan, the TR TY 141. And unfortunately, there's not very much information on this box. And this is another one of those kind of paramilitary color schemes, like the, the other, the TR TY 140. And the same clipped. Uh, well, no, actually, there, this one doesn't have a clipped uh, corner like the 140 does. So that's a little bit of a difference there. It is a PWM connector, sleeve is a sleeved cable. And let's see what it sounds like. Here, what it sounds like. Here you go. Now I can hear some rubbing and there's a low pitch noise. No harmonics. So this is, um, as far as it goes, this is a good fan for an exhaust point on a case. Uh, since the, <coughs> uh, since the um, mounting holes are 105 millimeters apart, uh, you can put it where a 120 millimeter fan would go as long as there's enough space for the extra width and length of this one. Uh, you would not want to use it for intake really because the Static pressure is oh so poor. I don't know if you noticed while I was holding the fan as it was running down, it um or to a stop. It took rather a few seconds. So, but I'm gonna look right now at the static pressure, and well, this this one does seem to have a bit better static pressure uh, than the um, 140. It's still fairly limited to about that far from the fan and it does tend to cone a little bit outward not much but a little bit so it's kind of going at a bit of a slant outward and there's not as much pressure or, or airflow from the middle of the fan it's kind of getting spit out along the edges like a lot of fans do so yeah um you might get away with using it on intake, but I would be uh, hesitant to recommend that at this point without uh, ha actually knowing what the static pressure of this fan is. And again, you can see this is running quite a long time. It, it actually lasts almost as long as the Noctua SSO2 bearing in terms of before it stops spinning which is pretty impressive. I've only seen one or two other fans that can come close to the the spin down time of the Noctua SSO2 bearing. Let's take a look at the specs. Okay, so the Thermalright TR TY-141 and it's a $15 fan certified by CE made in China, 151 and a half by 140 by 26 Point three. Oops, I forgot to mention the point three in the other video. Uh, uh, centimeters, two-year warranty, 160 gram weight, seven blades, 105 uh, millimeter distance between the mounting holes, 900 to 1,300 uh, RPMs. The airflow uh, is a minimum of 28.3, maximum of 74, which is respectable. Uh, definitely on the higher end uh, than a lot of other fans that I've got in my collection. Uh, the fan noise, it ranges from 17 to 21. The fan's K 
cable is 31 centimeters long. It doesn't have a daisy chaining feature on it, but it is sleeved. It's PWM, and it uses the enhanced hyperflow bearing, which is apparently pretty good. I'm not sure about its longevity, though. It does have 12 volts, of course, 2.4 watts, 0.2 amps, and it does indicate direction of flow and rotation, turns in a clockwise direction, but there are no accessories that it comes with. I'd like to thank Grindler at Bleeping Computer for allowing me to share my videos and posts on his website. Bleeping Computer has a lot of resources, including vetted programs, malware removal instructions, uh, malware removal volunteers, uh, other kinds of volunteers for IT, cybersecurity information, and more. It's a great place to go. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.